Um, it is snowing, I'm so excited. Uh, looks like a lot of fresh snow, so, so excited. I haven't skied whiteface in like, probably like three years, two or three years, so, so excited. Yeah, so much snow. Okay, so for this run, um, I don't know if you guys could see, but there was like, not even like a close sign, it was just like this little pole that had like a little octagon shape that said closed, so because the sign was so little and like I saw other people go on the trail, I was like, I think this is fine, so I just went on it. Um, well, later when I get to the end, um, there was like, I don't know if you have seen the like racers kind of like red mesh flags, um, not really flags, but like, I don't even know what to call them, but like, they're like the garters to like, for the racers for when they're racing to keep them on the track. So like, they don't fall off into the woods. Um, so it's kind of like a protector. Um, and anyways, I don't, it's not in this clip. It's in one of the next clips. You can see like from the angle I go at, it looks like I'm like, I'm going to have to hike my way back up and <laughs> get out of this trail that way. But luckily they didn't put like that, those like flagging mesh things all the way to the side of the trail. So I still had room to get off the trail. Um, you can kind of see it now. Like it's, it's that red, the red flags in the distance. Um, yeah, I felt really stupid for a minute, but then like there was a clear path to get down. So I was, I was like, okay, we're all set. Yeah. Here's the red flagging. This probably makes so much more sense from how I described it, but like, it looks like it's all the way to the end or to the side of the trail. And then I come out more and I'm like, whew, there's still room for me to ski. So yeah, but it was fun. <laughs>
just hold on for dear life Yeah, I can't give up this feeling That I get when looking down from the sky So this is the Summit Quad. Um, I was talking on this clip, but there was really loud and powerful snow guns, so that's why um, I'm redoing it. But it was so You're cool. Thing. Um, excuse me. Okay, I don't know if you just saw the yellow sign that I crossed on from the chairlift on the like chairlift pole. It said Bear Crossing, and I was a little confused because I'm like. Um, I'm not hiking here. I'm skiing here. Um, I think the bears are in hibernation because I have hiked Whiteface, but it's in a completely different area. So, well, not completely, but it's a little different than, like, you don't go over that summit quad. So I was a little confused, but it was still cool to see. It made me laugh. Those visibility up top but it's still really nice like whatever trail I just did I'm pretty sure it was skyward it was really really nice um and yeah it's really nice white face okay so this is skyward again and I know in my last clip I was like oh I don't know if I just did skyward or not I did <laughs> I actually ended up doing this trail like three or four times solely because um only gondola was running on the summit quad which gets you to Skyward and Cloudspin and a couple other squares was running and it was great. But the Little White Face double was not. So the only way to get to Little White Face was the gondola. And I didn't like, uh, <laughs> I ended up going on the gondola like three or four times, which was a lot for me. Um, just because it was a longer wait. Um, like I strictly only went there when it was lunchtime and everyone was in the lodge and it was still like, a 20 minute wait which actually isn't that bad but I just didn't want to wait in that line like three or four times I mean I actually ended up doing that but like that was my limit um, a skyward was so much fun um, again I wish I could have done other trails but I'll be at whiteface again so it's not a big deal um, and skyward was really fun it was like going in and out of the clouds cuz um, around like lunchtime well, maybe like 10 ish it was so cloudy and then it cleared up eventually and as you can see it's like clearing up here so it was just a lot of fun um, and there's like a couple different ways you could like go from it from the bottom or like halfway down because um, I know I did Niagara at one point too um, and then I think I just did lower skyward um, but if you've ever been to Whiteface you know like everything kind of funnels in the same area that's honestly another reason why I think it gets so icy that in the wind it gets um, but yeah, otherwise it was super fun. So yeah.
the Summit Quad and um, then you're at the Summit. So that was really cool. Um, it was very low visibility, but down here, um, it's very like, you can see it's clear. <laughs> um, but yeah, having a nice day at Whiteface. I'm glad like on the gondola, I can actually like show the view more. <laughs> than when I'm on the chairlift because on the chairlift I'm really afraid of dropping my camera <laughs> well GoPro and um uh on the summit chair the snow guns were going for like half yeah like half of it so I was like there's no way I'm going to talk over them <laughs> so yeah no it's really fun um yeah white face is in Lake Placid New York so probably like oh like five hours from New York City <laughs> Um, yeah, because I'm in Saratoga, Saratoga Springs, and that's like a solid two hours from Saratoga, uh, Lake Placid is. So, yeah, um, the city, it's probably like five hours, and that's with no traffic. So, <laughs> probably more like five and a half. Six. Wow, those are really loud. It's okay, though. But I'm just so happy I got a gondola. So, yeah, it's so nice out. And also, this has the biggest vertical drop in the east. It's over 4,000 feet, so yeah, super cool. And it's in the home of the High Peaks Adirondack. So if you know the 46er challenge, you know <laughs> above 4,000 feet is awesome. So, and that's not even, well, the summit is like above 4,000 feet, but the vertical drop to have that above 4,000 feet, that's a pretty big deal. Cause in the east, a typical vertical drop is like just over 2,000 feet. So the fact that white face is like double is really cool. Um, so, and vertical drop just means like how steep it is. Um, so yeah, white face is um, a little steeper than other mountains. But honestly, like if you're a good skier, it's, it's um, you can do it. So yeah, it's so fun. Take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night Wanna catch my photos Where you go Every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights A year away, like the seconds, the beginning and the end. Uh -huh. But if in time it's yesterday, your picture's gonna bring it home to me again. The world is waiting up, the world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Uh -huh. 
And if it's not enough, I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store. I wanna take it all in, I'm falling. The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos. Where you go, every corner twice as bright. There'll be my treasures forever. When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights.
Sorry. <laughs> Literally just went the wrong way, like going the wrong way on the road. Oh my god. <laughs> 